G'day everyone. I'm doing a series on how to fish. I grew up with my dad teaching me how to fish and then later my music teacher, who I was close with, he would take me fishing down the rocks when I was like 10 all the time. And it clicked in my head that if I make a few simple, easy to follow videos on the basics of fishing, light tackle, medium tackle, heavy tackle, it could help out some kids out there that want to learn how to fish who don't have a parent or a mate to help them. I'm going to do this series that you're watching right now. This is the first film of the light tackle series. I'm going to do everything from rod and reel, leaders, knots, lures, where to fish, what time of day, tides, currents, moon phase, wind, swell, what's in my fishing bag. One of the videos I'm just going to crack open my fishing bag and show you what I use, what drag, how you set your drag and how heavy your drag should be, how to cast, how to work plastics, work in lures, sight casting, fighting fish and landing fish. That then is a massive playlist for light tackle, medium tackle, heavy tackle. So that's what I'm doing. Let's get into it. I've had some pretty good captures like tackle fishing. I'll show you a few of the fish I've caught. Is it made of 10? Yeah. All right. Oh, let's give us a look, give us a look. It made a 12. It made a 12. Woo! Yeah. Head, head down a bit. <laughs> We're off and Come on, Briggsy. Just there. Just there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh my God. Yes. I'm getting spooled, bro. Like fully. Alright. Ooh, 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 chill. Big, big. Big ones everywhere. Let's get him back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Pink fins. How's those pink fins? How cool is that? Light tackle for me, it's fun. It's a fun style of fishing. I really enjoy light tackle. It's light-hearted, it's cruisy, it's, it's a sick style of fishing. And you can get good food that way too. If you're after a feed, light tackle is a really good way to get it. All the smaller bread and butter fish you can hook up on light tackle. Good way to get a, a nice little meal for your family. I'm just gonna show you my two reels and then a few of my rods that I use. First off, this is my smallest reel that I use. TD Soul 3 Light Tough 2500 S-C. So this little thing is mini. It's really fun to spin with. I love the drag because nice and loud, good for YouTube. You wanna hear that drag. It doesn't hold a ton of line, but it's so fun on little fish. I have 10 pound braid on it and it's my lightest little reel that I use. You'll probably end up with something different than this, depending on your budget, but I really enjoy this reel. It's a fun, good reel to spin with, and there's a lot of my films you will see this orange little beast. The step up from that, I have a little TD Black. Light Tough 4000D-C, nice and light, and again, quite small. So this one I have 20 pound braid on it. I was using this thing for bonefish. <laughs> it held just enough line for those crazy runs on the big bonefish. Caught a massive queenie on it. It's just that little bit bigger than my sole. They're in the mid priced reel range. They're not super cheap. They're not super expensive. They're in the middle. Good little reels. Moving on to rods. I'm gonna start with my lightest TD Black Spotted Wiggler 562 ULFS. Its cast weight is one to five grams. That's my lightest stick. It hasn't got the most power in the world when you hook a big fish on it, but it, it does the job for brim and stuff like that. It's sick fun. Next up, I have another TD Black. This is the TD Black Pinster 641 LFS, and its cast weight is one to 10 grams. Really good rod. That is nice and responsive, flicky, and when you have a fish on, it's, it's a fun fight. You feel every little head shake through this thing. Both of them I put with my sole reel. I highly recommend these little TD Blacks. They're sick little rod. My last light tackle stick that I use is, is a TD Soul 762 MHFS. Casts 7 to 28 grams. I cast heavier with it. I cast up to like 35 grams with it. This line is four to nine kilos. I don't know if that's recommended to cast heavier than the rod says. I've had mates snap rods. They were casting a heavier lure with, so I don't recommend doing that, but I, I push it a little bit on this one. It just feels like it can handle it. 
So I cast more like 35 grams of it. Yeah, it's a, it's a good rod. This is what I got that big queenie on in Oman. And it's kind of funny, I couple my TD Black Reel with my Soul Rod and I couple my Soul Reel with my TD Black Rod. That's the gear that I use for light tackle. I'm just gonna have a quick talk about what you should get. If you get a crappy rod and reel, you're not gonna have much fun on the water. But if you get a good rod and reel, high end, super high end stuff, you can have the best time ever, even if you don't catch fish. More likely you're gonna get a mid range setup. And if you can do the reverse engineer technique, working out what fish you're gonna target and then go backwards from there, really good. Otherwise, follow the major brands, have a read on forums or go look at YouTube reviews and stuff like that and try and get your head around this piece of equipment that you're gonna buy. Get your hands on that reel rod and feel it. A lot of the time you might be thinking of two or three different rod and reels, you'll get your hands on them and one will just pop out to you and go, this is the one, this is the one I want. Boom, done. Nothing left in the choice for you. There's no like someone's opinion against someone else's opinion. You cast all day with that rod and reel and if you don't like the feeling of it, even if it is more expensive than this other one that you did like the feeling of, you're gonna regret it. You want to get the one that you like the feeling of. So yeah, spend as much as you can on your rod and reel. They're very important, but you have to like the feel of them. Get your hands on feel, go to a good tackle shop first and compare as many as you can in the range that you're looking at. All right, so that was just a quick little talk about what rod and reel you should get what I use and if you're very new to fishing don't have anyone helping you I hope that helped you out mate look out for the next film about line leader and knots I'll upload it very soon Phew.